What is up everyone, welcome back to another virtual reality tutorial and in today's video we're going to cover a topic that a lot of you ask, how to make door, drawer, lovers and all kinds of restricted interactions. Welcome back to this tutorial series that will teach you the basics of VR development in Unity using the Unity XR Toolkit. As always, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel to not miss the next video. And if you guys want to support the channel, have access to all the source code from my tutorial plus exclusive content, come check out my Patreon, the link is in the description below. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so we are back in our little experimentation scene. In the previous episode, we learned how to interact with an object using a ray, and for this episode, we will learn how to make cool physics interaction using this 3D cabinet model that you will find a direct link to download in the description below. Now, I will drag this cabinet model inside my scene. I can place it next to my table using the moving tool. Perfect. Now, as you can see, this cabinet is composed of several cubes for all its side, which already have a box collider on them. And on the front side, it has two elements, a door and a drawer. Now, obviously, what we want is to be able to move these two game objects, but keep the door restricted to the rotation on the side here and the drawer to only move in the forward direction. So let's see how we can do this and you will see it's actually kind of magic. Let's focus first on the door. We can select it in our VR key. We want to grab the door first, so I'm going to add a Nixar grab interactable component to it. As you can see, this also automatically creates a rigid body on the same game object. Now, this door has, as a child, a door handle, which is where I want the door to be grabbed. So I'm going to draw the door handle in the collider list of the XR grab interactable component. This way, we can only grab the door from this point now. Now, let's click on play to test what we already have. As expected, we can now grab the door, but we have two problems. First, well, the door is not revolving around the side, and we can grab the door with our ray, which is not what we want, because it will be better to have only the direct interaction with it. For the second issue, we can fix it in a minute really easily. We can simply go to layer, click on add layer, I'm going to create a new one called grab in your ray, and I'm going to assign this layer on each game object which I want to be able to be grabbed, but not grabbed by the ray. So let's assign this new layer to the door, and maybe do it already for the drawer. Now finally, we can go to the XR ray interactor under our VR rig, and if we select both our ray, we can see that already this new layer is unchecked in the raycast mask, which is what we want. Now finally, with this new layer, I don't know if you remember, but with the grab layer, we had to go to project settings, physics, and disable here in the collision matrix the interaction between the body and the object that we grab because it was making us fly. And we can do exactly the same for this new layer that we just made. Okay, now if we click on play, you can see that we are on the right track to pursue. We can only grab the door using our direct grab interaction. That's really great. I hope you're still following with me because that's now that the real magic happens. Now to make our door correctly revolve on the side here, here is how we're going to make it. First, let's select our door. In the XR grab interactable script, we're going to set the movement type from kinematic to velocity tracking. What that means is that now we will move our door using the physics of the object, which means that the door will have physics when we grab it, which means that we can now use joints while we grab the door. And that really is a big thing. So let me show you. I will click on add component and search for inch joint. So if you are not aware of it, Already, the joints are built-in physical element in Unity that can help you achieve physics behavior with your rigid body. Now, here for the inch joint, it makes the rigid body rotate around a certain axis, which is what we want for our door. So if I click on the little edit angular limits, we can see in our scene how the door will revolve. So here in the axis is already on the good side, but if you want, you can tweak the position over there using the ensure variable but in my case, I will leave it like that. Also, we want our door to be stopped at a certain angle. So to do this, I can click on use limits. And now we can see the limit in our scene. And I can drag this little icon where I want the door to be stopped. So perfect. Now the rotation will go from this point to this other point. 
and basically that's it. Let's try our door by clicking on play. And look at this, now I can grab the door and the door correctly revolve. It's crazy how we managed to make this door so quickly using the XR grab interactable. And more than that, our door is physically accurate, which means that I can grab it and release it with a certain velocity and it will have the correct speed and everything. It's crazy. But more than that, it means that I can take an object like this gun, for example, and use it to make the door revolve. And if I had some sort of collider on my hand, it means that I could use my hand to push the door also. Okay, now one more thing that I can show you. As you can see, the door seems to revolve really quickly when we release it, and we can better trick R to slow down the door when we release using the damping variable. So let's go to our inch joint component, click on use spring, and here we can use a certain damper to slow down the door, so in my case, I will set it to 1 maybe. And here you go, as you can see, now it's even better. And really, you can apply this to any object you want to grab and revolve around a certain axis. For example, let's say a lever. Now, to show you this, I will quickly create a cube by right-clicking in our hierarchy, go to 3D cube, I can rename it lever, scale it up to make it look like, well, you guessed it, a lever, and I can place it above our cabinet. Maybe let's create another cube as a child of the first cube to make the top of the lever. I can scale it a bit wider and place it at the top, perfect. Okay, here we go, we have now our lever. Now, exactly the same things as for the door. I can add an XR grab interactable to the lever. I can set the layer to in your array. Drag the top of the lever as the collider of the XR grab interactable so that it will be able to only be grabbed by this object. Next, I can change the movement type to velocity tracking. And last but not least, we can set up our joints. So I will add a new inch joint component on our lever. I can click on edit angular limits, put the anchor at the bottom of the lever and make it rotate only along the Z axis by changing the axis parameter to 0, 0, 1. And now this way our joint will rotate in this direction. Finally, let's click on use limits and move the limits where we want our joint to be stopped. And maybe add a certain damping by clicking on use spring and set the damper value to 2. And here we go, in a few steps we managed to create in the same way as for the door, a lever. Can you believe how cool this is? Now let's test it right away by pressing on play. And here you go, our lever is responding correctly. And here, as you can see, the lever moves to one of the two limits because it gets also affected by the gravity. So obviously you can get rid of this by going to the rigid body of the lever and unchecking here the use gravity on the rigid body. And here we go, now as you can see, the lever sticks to its place, perfect! And there you go, we managed to make it in no time a lever and a door. You can even use this for, I don't know, a wheel for example, or anything that you want to rotate. But now, what if we are not restricted to the rotation? What if we want to restrict on the movement? And this is what we will see now with this drawer right now. Okay, so for the drawer, you know how it goes. Let's first add an XR grab interactable component. Perfect. Let's now change the movement type from kinematic to velocity tracking. And as you can see, I have each side of the drawer as a child of it. And on the same game object, here we have the drawer handle. So it's going to be this one that I'm going to drag in the colliders of the XR grab interactable. Perfect. By the way, as you can see, we previously changed the layer to the grab in your ray, so we are good with that. Now for the joint, this time it's not an inch joint that we want to use, it's a configurable joint. So let's click on add component and search for configurable joint. Now is it only me or is this component looking kind of thick? No, really, I think that might be the scariest script that Unity has built in, but you will see it's actually really easy to use. Now, for the anchor, same thing. We can edit it here, but in my case, I will leave it like this. For the axis, I don't know if you can see it here, but I want it to point forward, so I will set it to 0, 0, minus 1, and now it's pointing in the good direction. Now, to only let the drawer move forward, we can set the X motion to limit it, and all the other motion to be locked. This way, it will be forced to move in only one direction. Now for the limit where the drawer can go, I will go here in linear limit and let's say that we will let the drawer move forward for 30 centimeters. 
Perfect. Okay, we are almost there. Finally, for the dumping, we can go in the X drive and simply set the position damper to 2, maybe. And here we go, our join is configured. No, no need to stress about the other variables. Let's click on play to test our game. And there you go, I can simply grab the drawer now. And as you can see, it blocks at the correct position. That's awesome. However, we have a little issue here. As you can see, when I first grabbed the drawer, it snapped to a wrong position. So we have two ways to fix this. The first way is to go in the XR grab parameter. And if we want the snap when we grab the drawer to not go to a wrong position, we can simply set the attach transform of the XR grab component to be the handle of the drawer itself. So here I can just drag the drawer over there. And now if I press on play, you can see that it snaps not really. But we have another way also to fix this issue that I'm about to show you now. If you remember correctly, we learned in this tutorial series how to offset grab in a previous episode. And we can actually use this offset grab to grab the drawer for example. So let's go back to our drawer, I will remove the XR grab interactable and replace it by the XR offset grab script that we made. Now, you know the drill, we can change the movement type to velocity tracking and we can set the box collider of the drawer as the grab collider. And there you go, if I click on play, you can see that now there is no offset and it's actually a really, really cool way to grab the drawer, no more problem anymore. Just a remark, if you want to use the offset grab for the door or the lever, I found out that it causes a real issue when we move the hand, so I would not suggest you to do that. And there you go, that wraps up how you can make a door, a lever, a drawer, a wheel, or everything that you want. As you can see, that's a really powerful method that works really great and that doesn't need any code. Now it's your turn to use these elements at your wish and integrate them in your game. But that's all for me, so I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. As always, if you did, please leave a like below. And if you want to have access to the source code of this project and all of my tutorials, plus exclusive content and support also the channel, come check out my Patreon. And on that matter, a big, big thank you to the new Patreon that joined lately, their name will appear on the screen right now. Have a nice day and see you soon. Bye bye.